वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ काउंटर्स सो इफ वी हैव टू डिफाइन अ काउंटर इट इज सिंपली अ सर्किट अ सीक्वेंशियल सर्किट दैट दैट प्रोड्यूस अ न्यूमेरिक काउंट ईच टाइम एन इनपुट क्लॉक पल्स मेक्स एन एक्टिव ट्रांजिशन दैट मीन्स वेन एवर यूर क्लॉक इज मूविंग फ्रॉम इधर हाई टू लो और can say low to high so at each uh, particular instant your output is being uh, counted or you can say it is being it is producing a specific state of sequence now that depends on whether uh, the counter is an up counter or a down counter we'll be looking at all these things in this particular lecture so what we have to note down uh, counter is a sequential circuit and it simply counts uh, the number of clock pulses uh, then uh, the next point that we have to note down is uh, what are different types of counters that we need to study so broadly if we have to uh, categorize counters there are two main types of counters uh, one we call as asynchronous counter and the other one we call as synchronous counter so this asynchronous is also called as ripple counter so we are uh, we have to study both the counters in detail in order to differentiate between the two uh, there are some points which we must know now these two types uh, of counters can again be categorized into further types like if it is an asynchronous or you can say ripple counter it can be an up counter it can be a down counter or it can be a mixture of both what we call as up down counter and same is the case for synchronous counter it can be up it can be down or it can be up down counter so all of these uh, different types of counters that are possible we have to study them one by one in this particular course so before i uh, basically start designing a counter uh, there is one important thing that you must know how are asynchronous and synchronous counters different from one another so let us differentiate between a synchronous counter and a synchronous counter so the first point is uh, we can look at their circuit diagram so i am designing a asynchronous counter if the clock pulse if we see at the clock pulse clock pulse is given to only one stage if it is asynchronous counter suppose this is jk flip flop so these are my inputs and uh, outputs over here what happens in asynchronous counter is the clock pulse the clock pulse is given only to first stage clock pulse is given only to first stage while as the output of the first stage acts as a clock for the next similarly here the output of the other flip flop acts as a clock for the next so real uh, clock is basically given only to the first stage and also we must note down uh, wherever you are providing a clock that is basically the lsb side of the output so if this is q1 this is q2 and this is q3 so basically whenever uh, your output is coming so it will be in the form of q3 q2 and q1 so this q1 is lsb now how are you going to differentiate this from a synchronous counter again if we are uh, for example copying the same diagram uh, we are taking it as jk flip flop
Now coming back to clock, the clock is given to all the stages simultaneously. So this is the major difference between the two and this is how we are able to differentiate. Just by looking at the circuit we can say whether a counter that we are having is a is a asynchronous counter or synchronous counter or just uh, see the clock so uh, the major difference is here clock pulse is given only to first stage only to the first stage or you can see to the LSB here you can say clock pulse is given to all the flip flops simultaneously means at a time then uh, there are few more things as you can see in the diagram since you are giving clocked all the stages simultaneously so it means that these circuits are going to be fast so this is one more difference that we can add if it is a synchronous counter they are going to be faster and uh, if it is an asynchronous counter they are going to be comparatively slower and again uh, if we see there is a problem of propagation delay in asynchronous counters because if you want this output to change at Q3 uh, it would be dependent on the value coming from Q2 and similarly in order to change our output at Q2 we are dependent on the value of Q1 so this is the effect of what we call as ripple and uh, this makes basically this circuit slower and uh, one more point we can note down is if it is uh, asynchronous counter then they are easy to design as we will see while we will be designing asynchronous counters uh, they are very easy to, de to design while as if it is a synchronous counter it is very difficult to design and we will see in the coming lectures why it is difficult because you need the knowledge of all the state tables uh, excitation tables and all so in order to get the circuit while as in uh, you can say this uh, asynchronous counter it is uh, comparatively easier so i will uh, the other types that are possible in asynchronous and synchronous is up counter up counter means your sequence whenever your counter is counting it would be counting in this sequence or you can say increasing order while as down counter would be counting like this seven six five four three two one zero and so on so it depends uh, whether you are counting in an increasing or decreasing order and if it is up down uh, it would be a single uh, circuit design that would be uh, counting either in uh, increasing order or maybe in decreasing order and the same is applicable here also if it is up counter you can be designing something like this if it is down then it would be in this order and if it is up down then both are applicable so you can wait for the second video in that video i would be telling you how basically we can design asynchronous counters for 2 bit and 3 bit till then uh, you can revise uh, this particular lecture and i will see you in the next one god bless you